In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the interactive features of Scribble. So here I am at the front page, and I'm going to hover over the Scribble logo, because that shows me the courses I've enrolled in. And as you can see, I've enrolled in the Frontend Developer Career Path, so I'll just click that, and that'll take me to the course page, where I can see the modules and some more information. Actually, I'm just going to click this Go to Lesson button as that'll take me to the place where I left off last time I was on this course. So I'll click that button. As you can see, it takes me to this scrim right here. And here I can hit the play button in the bottom left corner. Another little piece of logic that we're going to need in our app here is a function that can... Okay, so I'm going to pause here. What I can see here is that it's, this is a challenge because the teacher, Bob, has written that. I am to complete a function on this speed typing game on the right hand side here. And I'm going to scrub a little bit ahead. Figure that out. Pause here and get started on the challenge. Okay, so Bob told me to pause here. So I'm going to do that and get started on the challenge. And how you get started on a challenge is actually just by starting to interact with the code. So I'll just click here and hit enter. And as you can see, the background kind of changed a little bit of a darker shade. So now I can just simply start solving this challenge. I am to write a function, so I'll just do that. Let's see, function, calculate, and yada, yada, yada. I'll just, for now, I'll just console log hello, like that. And now I've written a little piece of code and I actually wanna keep this. Maybe I wanna continue with it later. Well, what I can do then I can simply see down here in the timeline that actually a note was created at this point, and I see these two buttons, a red X and a check mark icon. And obviously, I want to click the check mark icon because that'll save my note so that now my note is saved for later. So if I now, for example, want to see Bob's solution, maybe I'm stuck, I can just hit the play button again and he will continue way to do this, but let's go ahead and create. But in the spirit of functional programming, as you can see, I just scrubbed ahead and he started solving his challenge. Maybe if I scrub a little bit ahead, I'll see what he does. And I'm like, ah, oh, okay, I understand what I should do. And then I can go back to my note by just clicking this little yellow dot right here. And then continue coding right here. So if I return to this screencast later, later this note will be there as well. So once you've saved it, it is saved and you don't have to worry about losing your code. So that was just a little bit of how to use the interactive features of Scrimba. And when you do courses on our platform, you see, you'll see that there are tons of challenges like this, as the only way to really learn how to code is to write a lot of code yourself. So I hope this helped and best of luck with your learning.